Get your name again. T Radio Raheem. Radio Turn Raheem. Johnson. Johnson. That's me. Now, I listen to you all the time. So don't, man, I forget everybody's name. My wife's some diamond and all. <laughs> okay, so. are we rolling? Radio Raheem with Terrell Johnson. You are on the card, a huge card. Triple G's on that card, fighting David Lemieux. You've got Chocolatito Gonzalez. How do you become a star Saturday night? By beating him on O'Kane okay real bad. When you look in, in, into his eyes, you guys just faced off. Both heavyweights. That's a, that's a big fight. These are big power punches coming your way. What do you see in his eyes? Oh, he's the big puncher? I, I didn't know that. I guess I got to do my research again because I know he only had five knockouts. But that's okay compared to my 14 knockouts. But yes, Iman Kane is an exciting fight. He's, he comes to fight. He's from Ireland. Those guys, just, they just love to fight. So yeah, uh, come Saturday night, you're going to see a real, real gladiator slugfest. It sounds like you feel like you have the advantage in power. You, you have 14 knockouts. He's only got five. Are you looking to end this night early? Well, you know, there's a statement I must make. And, uh, you know, it is out there. I have challenged the big names, such as Triple G and David Lemieux. These are the biggest punches in the business. Uh, I feel as though I am on that level to challenge these guys and to get that opportunity, which I have challenged and never got that opportunity. Now, come Saturday night, yes, I will show that I do have punching ability. Maybe not on that level. I'm not going to be a liar and say I got Triple G them power, but I do have the Mexican style boxing right. I don't know why they, why they call him Triple G the Mexican style. This is pure Mexican style. You know, I know how to take a blow, not to say I like taking a blow, but I do have a knock to take a blow, and I also know how to give one. So come Saturday night, yeah, you're going to see, you're going to see some excitement for me to prove that I am able to fight the big boys. You know, everyone's talking about Cotto and uh, Alvarez being the mandatory after they win, whoever wins that fight is the mandatory for the winner of this fight, but they don't know that the IBF, the title you're fighting for, the vacant title, that's also a mandatory for the winner of this fight. How do you distinguish yourself Saturday night and campaign to be the guy that one of these guys faces after this fight? Well, indeed, you know, I understood that even before I signed the contract to fight. And I know that what I was going to do, I was going up against not Jesse Mono Kane, but po politics as well. So come Saturday night, I have to squash all of that. I have to go there, perform like I've never performed before. I got to show that this Bahamian-born young man, Toriano Johnson, is able and capable to go out there and to put on an exciting show. Not just that one fan can say, oh, he knocked Iman out. No. Iman said he's coming out there to what, uh, expose me. I'm similar to Iman, but I'm only coming out there to dispose of him. And yes, you're going to see a disposal garbage truck collector like myself go out there and put on a show and the fans will excite, will be excited about it. And they will demand an opportunity for Toriano to fight the winner of the IBF or even the WBC, which I am also in the ranking for. We will look forward to seeing that Saturday night. Don't miss Toriano Johnson fighting for the vacant IBF title with Radio Rahim, Madison Square Garden.